going on from the title, Getting Ready for the Deadlift Competition. So pretty much, me and Lewis did squats, and we were deadlifting. And then our boy Ray was there as well, and we had the whole CrossFit room to ourselves. So Ray decided to say, for me and him to go head-to-head on the deadlift. So I said, oh, you know what? All right, cool. We're getting ready for the competition. Why not? Bang. First rep, I think we did 365. Easy for both of us. Easy pull, 100%. Then we just kept on going back and forth, you know. It, it, just, it just felt good. But Ray tried to, he's a funny guy, man. He said he doesn't really do deadlifts, so... You know, I, I, I'm not going to lie. I underestimated him because I was like, okay, he doesn't do deadlifts. So he doesn't know what he's doing. But, you know, he's pretty strong. He says he works out back twice a week. So working out by, back twice a week, that really helped him. 375 right there. Up. Clean. So now right here, we weren't really trying to get into each other's heads. But, you know, we're definitely listening to our own music. And we, we were trying to say... Trying to psych each other out by saying, yeah, I might not get it, I might get it. But fatigue was definitely coming in because I before that I did two sets of 20 reps of 225. And then bumped that up to 235 and did another 20 reps. So fatigue was kicking in, but I love the deadlift and I wanted to be... Ready for the competition. Especially because I knew I was dieting down. Sometimes I get real lethargic. And I wanted to see what my strength was at, honestly. So pretty much, as we keep going, we right here, we're trying to figure it out. I believe it was three, 385 we got to. So with 385, I still felt good. But fatigue was definitely settling in. I had to make sure that I took my time. And my back was feeling funny. In previous videos, I believe I said it or I'm not 100% sure. On my right side, up near my shoulder blade, some, something doesn't feel right. Especially on that day. When I took my deep breath, I took it now, I feel good. But after back day, sometimes there's like a knot there. So I, I have to... Pretty much be careful, you know what I mean? Because I'm not trying to mess anything up. So right here, Snapchatting. The pull, bang, clean. Felt really good. Now raise up to do the same lift. Look at this lift right here. The man doesn't deadlift. Bang. See that? Clean. That, that's why you can't listen to someone when they tell you they don't deadlift. You got to be careful with them. This right here, I believe, is 395. Which was my last PR. Well, take, no, 390 was my last PR. But I knew I could do 395. And bang, I hit 395. Super duper clean. It doesn't get any cleaner than that. Squeaky clean. And mind you, this was in the morning around 12. So I didn't get a chance to eat lunch or anything like that. I pretty much just had my breakfast. Which was... That day, I just had a quest bar. I just had a quest bar and a protein shake. That right there, four or five. We skipped 400, went to four or five. I felt a bunch of rippling, ripples happening in my back. It felt like a meat grinder. Failed. Couldn't do it. Bang. He did it. Pulled it. Clean. Locked it out. Clean. Four or five, man. Right there, I was devastated. I said, man, I lost. Lewis was like, okay, he wants to get into it because now we get into four or five. We heat, we, it's heating up. He did it, bang. Lewis's um, one rep max is 425. So four or five, that's a joke to him. That's easy for him. But he hasn't tested his one rep max in a long time. Here, I say, you know what? I got to try four or five again, man. If I lift it up the ground, I got to do it again. I took a deep breath. <sighs> Four five man, roll to four hundred is complete, guys. Right here, Ray went from 
415. Once again, skipping 410. Jumping straight to 415. Lewis was like, all right, cool. I'll slap on my belt. Let me do it too. Since you guys are doing it, I'm going to do it too. Which is all cool. Uh, it's always good to compete with people that are stronger than you. It's always good to compete with your friends as well. They push you to the next level. They push you to Phoenix level. Right here, I say, you know what? Let me try 415 too. Let me give it a try. But I knew right here, as it's about to come off the ground, barely, I said, nope. My back just gave out my last hurt, everything like that. So I just said, you know what? I'm going to save my back. I came back for a second attempt because I thought if I took a deeper breath, nope. Uh -uh. Not going to happen. So I let it go. I finished at 4.05. Ray finished at 4.15. Lewis finished at 4.25 to the point where he knocked the two and a half down on the ground. But it felt good to compete with my friends, my boys, my compadres, my gym buddies. And I think it's very important to have positive gym buddies in your life because they'll motivate you to reach Phoenix level, push you to the top. So, Ray, good luck because this definitely got me ready for the competition. And now I can't wait to get to it and show you guys the footage for the competition. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.